Hi, good morning. Yet another video that took me about seven takes to get, and I hope this is the one. I want to talk about another example of collateral damage, and it's one that I experience a great deal, and it's damaging in so many different ways, and that is low self-esteem and feeling as if I was a fraud, feeling as if nah, nobody knows the real me because I'm not good enough. Low self-esteem to me is probably the worst example of narcissistic abuse than I can explain. And I'm, I'm going to have difficulty here explaining it. So if, if I can ask you two things, if I can ask you to bear with me, please. And if I can ask you to also comment if you identify with these feelings, because that's going to help me a great deal. Um, I look back on my life and see all the instances of low self-esteem that I've had. The feeling that I don't deserve this. This good thing that's happening. I don't deserve it and I'm a fraud. You know, I feel it all the time when the nice people here and, and, and it's the majority of people here that say nice things about me that I'm helping them or that they identify and I got this feeling that, nah, nah, I'm not really doing that. They're just saying that to make me feel good. And examples throughout my entire life of low self-esteem self that I'm undeserving or that I'm fooling someone or no matter how hard I worked at a, a certain thing, that I don't deserve it. Sometimes it's, it's just overwhelming. And when I put my logic cap on, I can see that that's nonsense, right? I, I can see that, yeah, I'm a good person and I deserve these good things that happen to me. But the emotion inside tells a different story. And sometimes, as I say, it's just a little bit overwhelming. It comes from, I'm certain, of years of being told that I'm undeserving and that I'm not worth anything. Nothing will ever, anything good will ever happen to me. And that's been pounded and pounded and pounded in my head in my formidable years. So I grew up thinking that. And I can, I can look at certain instances of my life where I almost self-sabotaged. I got out of a certain good situation because I felt that I was undeserving. That I, I felt like I was just a fraud and, and I, I just don't deserve this. And the damage left in its wake of, of the childhood trauma I experienced with that is just, it's just immeasurable. And you know, the, you can't tell while you're going through it, while you're going through low self-esteem, you can't identify it at that time until you look back and you can, you can see the damage that you've done to yourself because you feel that you don't deserve this good thing happening. So automatically, during, when you're going through that feeling, automatically you want to get out of this situation, not to hurt anybody or you feel like a fake and you shouldn't do that. I'm, I'll be 62 years old next February and I still have that feeling. And I've done a lot of good in my life. I really have. I raised a wonderful young man, a man that, that I have a wonderful relationship with, and, and I love him so very much, and I know that he loves me. And sometimes, to be honest, I don't know why, I feel undeserving of that love. And I wish I had the answer to that. Have any of you come across this? Have any of you identified it? And have any of you worked your way through it? You know, there was a time in my life when I first went no contact many years ago. And I was no contact for what, 30 years? That, that I, I, didn't, I didn't identify these feelings. I was on my life, I was healthy, I felt good, but I really didn't realize at the time that I was going through it. That I was going through low self-esteem. And my therapist uh, has helped me a great deal, not only 
identifying it, but to see that I'm a worthy person, that I'm deserving of good things, and that I'm not deserving of bad things, which in my subconscious and sometimes the conscious, I feel like I'm not deserving of those good things, and that I am deserving of the bad things. It's a horrible feeling. I wish I didn't have it, but I do. And I'm curious to know if you share those same feelings. I'm, I'm sorry for the ramble and, and, and baffling on, but it's a difficult subject for me, and I want to share it with you, even though it is difficult, and see if maybe that helps you, number one, can you identify it, and how did you identify it? And number two, um, what caused it? What in your life caused low self-esteem and feelings of low self-worth? And even have you self-sabotaged yourself in order to satisfy those feelings of no self-worth? I'd be curious, and I appreciate your feedback. Thank you, and today I'm wishing you peace.